Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this 5V relay module work with a Raspberry Pi. In one of my latest videos, I showed you how to turn your 3D printer on and off with Raspberry Pi and an Octoprint. It was great and all, but I cheated a little bit by using a 3V relay. And some of you guys couldn't get a 5V relay modules to work. So let me show you a simple modification of these relay boards to make them work. I'm going to be using this relay module, it's probably the most common and cheapest one. The relay is rated 5 volts and Tongling brand just really screams quality so you know it's not gonna catch on fire. There are just few components and a couple of indicator LEDs, not much on the other side. And this mod should work on any 5 volt relay module but I will be only demonstrating it on this one. There is just one component necessary for this mod and it's a trimmer. The smaller it is the better. I will be using a 100k one, but anywhere from 10k to 100k should be completely fine. Ok, let me just grab a brand new module real quick. <laughs> Alright, it looks like we got a tongling quality right here. So let me just fix that real quick. Alright, much better. So next, we need to remove this middle resistor right here. On other designs, uh, this resistor would be connecting the input pin and the base of the transistor. Next, I'm gonna solder the trimmer in place. And this is why the size matters, and also a proof that smaller is sometimes better. Now, when it comes to the orientation, I'm ok with everything. Just make sure that the middle pin gets soldered to the board. It doesn't really matter to which of those two pads. It's basically just two resistors in series anyways. The remaining pin must be soldered to the VCC pin, but I found a more convenient spot on this leg of the transistor, which is actually connected to the VCC pin anyway. So with this little jumper wire, the mod is complete and we just need to calibrate it. Before we plug anything in though, let's just set the trimmer in a roughly middle position. Ok, connect the relay to the Pi in the usual way, so that's VCC to 5 volts, ground to ground and the input pin to any GPIO pin you are using, which is pin 18 in my case. This relay board actually has a reversed logic, so set the GPIO pin to low and the relay should turn on. If the green LED is still off and you didn't hear any click, then you need to adjust the trimmer to a position where the relay will turn on. Now set the pin high and the relay should turn off. You might have to adjust the trimmer again very slightly, in case nothing happens. Alright, now that it's set properly, every time you change the GPIO pin, you should clearly hear the relay click. And well, that's pretty much it. In the PSU control settings, you can invert the pin so that when the bolt icon is green the printer is actually on and that's all there is to it. I think it's only fair now that I actually use this myself, so in case there is any problem I would be the first one to find out. For those of you wondering why I use trimmer instead of a couple of resistors, well I found the differences between individual boards were significant enough to a point where the same resistor values wouldn't work from uh, board to board. Not to mention that trimmers will actually work on another designs as well. But if you are curious, these are the values that should work for this particular design. Let me know in the comments if you found this video useful, or if you perhaps have any better solution. Obviously, 3.3V relay would be the optimal solution, but those can be difficult to find. If this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe for more fun with electronics. See you for now.